what's up guys welcome back to the channel so these are the five tips and tricks that you should know for your fossil generation 6 so let's get started first of all let's talk about the display as we already know that Wear OS only allows up to 15 seconds of screen on time and for some people it is a bit less to see all the information on this little screen for example you have an informative watch face which has a lot of things mentioned on it you definitely need some time to read it all without turning on the display once again. So for this we have to download an application from the Google Play Store and it is present under the name of Stay Lit for Wear OS. It is a paid application but it is totally worth the price. After installing the application, open it up and here you can choose your screen on time from 5 seconds to unlimited and this unlimited option is very handy if you are using a stopwatch or a timer application. So Wear OS smartwatches are not that much amazing when it comes to battery life. Here are some settings that I am using myself and you can use them as well if you are seeing a bit less battery life on your smartwatch. First of all, go into settings and here tap on display and make sure that always on display mode is turned off. You can leave brightness to auto and now go back. Tap on gestures and here you can turn off tilt to wake but you can keep using this touch to wake option next you have to go into general which is present here and turn off auto launch media controls you can also turn off wi-fi if you are really concerned about getting maximum battery life from your watch by turning off wi-fi you can still use google assistant and other internet features from bluetooth of your watch so these were the main settings that you can try on your fossil generation 6 but you can also use a dark watch face like this one to conserve battery life on this OLED display as those black pixels are turned off. So fossil generation 6 has these two buttons on the right side that can be customized for launching some certain apps. You can customize these buttons by going into settings and now choose this option present here. Now you have to tap on Customize hardware buttons. You can allocate any app from this list for the top right button as well as for the bottom right button. This really saves a lot of time. For example, here I have selected this bottom right button for my weather application. This middle button cannot be customized as it is limited to Google Assistant. Moving on to the next thing, Fossil Generation 6 has these widgets which are called as tiles and this year we have a new SpO2 or blood oxygen monitoring sensor on this smartwatch so you can bring that SpO2 tile to the first location by long pressing on the tile and then tap on these arrow keys present here and you can also add more tiles by long pressing on the same tile and now tap on the plus icon present here so in this way you can add more tiles according to your desire. One thing I have noticed with Fossil Generation 6 is that the watch has a lot of pre-installed applications like Facer and Cardiogram. Plus it also has Amazon Alexa. For example, the Cardiogram application is not that much useful and it continues to run in the background but the results are not that much accurate. Instead, you can delete this application and use FitHerd application which is from Google Fit and it works a lot better as compared to cardiogram application. So these were the things that you should know for your fossil generation 6. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.